Hello, my name is Daniel Osorio, and my research tool is called the Flow Cytometer, which is used for cell sorting, cell counting, and biomarker detection. Uh, the Flow Cytometer works by using beams of light that, that allow it to measure fluorescent emissions from cells that were previously stained with a fluorocarbon, usually antibodies. In order to use this machine, you must first place the population of cells that you want to analyze in what is called suspension buffer. Once they're suspended, you may proceed to the next step and place the tubes in this compartment. Once here, the li liquid, including your cells, will be sucked into this flow chamber, where they will later follow as, as a stream so tiny that it will only allow for one cell to pass at a time. As they are falling, beams of light of, dif of different magnitudes, including infrared and ultraviolet light, will radiate at them. And a light detector will identify each cell depending on the type and intensity of light that is being reflected from it. As soon as they are identified, um, they will be removed from the stream almost immediately with the help of electromagnets and will be sorted together with similar cells. After everything is completed, you will be able to see your results in the form of, a, of several graphs. In this graph, for example, you're able to see the concentration of dead and alive cells. Whereas in this, gra in this graph, uh, while this graph tells you the, the number of, of stains, the number of unstained cells as opposed to stained cells. And this technique is usually used to detect um, several conditions such as leukemia and other types of cancer. In my lab, for example, we use the flow cytometer to count the number of naive T cells found in the, in the spleen and colon of mice infected with colitis.